TV, and this is my SmackDown, January 17th, 2017, episode SmackDown Reaction. And let's go on to the first thing of the night, which the first thing I think was, we had a match, I don't know. I'll come back when I see what the first man coming out. He announced that the Elimination Chamber will be coming back, I think in March or February. And that AJ Styles will be defending his title if he wins at the Royal Rumble against John Cena. There comes AJ Styles, start rambling his lips. He's like, why are you doing this? And she was like, I don't like her attitude, boy. And then here comes John Cena. Here comes the Miz. And then the Miz starts like, I'm the best. I, I started being up John Cena before John Cena was cool. And, and AJ, and then John's like, you're going to limp, don't you? Like that? He said, oh, you need a limp. I don't know what that means, but yeah. And, and John Cena's like, you're going to limp, talk to your wife like that? And then they start getting in a brawl. Well, you know, they did. And they announced that the match will be happening after the commercial break. And after the commercial break, the match happened. This was a good match for SmackDown. And... At the end, um, let's see, AJ threw the Miz into John Cena, then John Cena started attacking the Miz, then John Cena AA the Miz and AJ Styles. And one of the other matches of the night was, wait no, one of the other segments was Natalia and Nikki Bella. This is a very boring rivalry, it's like, it's not the best from SmackDown. Yeah, it's not that, not that good. And, and then Natalia's like, hi, Nikki. And he, she went to go to the stand. She was like, where's my merchandise? And that's my ex-uncle, Brett. There's Nikki Bells and John Cena's. Yeah, nice. And then, it was just not a good segment. And then Nikki Bella comes in and puts her through a table and starts attacking her. And it was a big brawl. Let's go on to another match. The King's Court. The King's Court happened. It's back in Memphis, Tennessee, boy. And it also was the guest. He wasn't talking. He was like. And then Jerry Law was like, please talk. Yeah, attitude's going to do no good. And then Doll was still one time. He was like, you'll always be a loser. Super kick out of nowhere to Jerry Lawler. That was like, I can't believe he would do that. And then Dean Ambrose had a segment with, um, and backstage he was like, I want to match with Randy Orton, and we're going to go on to that match right now. So Randy Orton took on Dean Ambrose, and this was a good match as always, and there, there were some good spots, like there was, he put him on the announce table and like slammed him on, and then he reversed the Ambrose's springboard clothesline with a power slam, which was pretty cool. But at the end, Dean Ambrose won because Luke Harper come in. They're like, they're not good buddies. And and then that distracted Randy. And one, two, three. Leverage, and we have a winner. Yep. And let's go on to... I think the main event of SmackDown Live, which was Alexa Bliss took on Becky Lynch in a match in a steel cage, which was a good match, and the Luchador was a mask. Guess who it was? Mickey James was under the mask all long. Wow. But still, there was pretty good spots in the smash. Is like. All of us is like cage bangs and like head banging their head on the cage like burr, burr, burr. and it was like yeah it's a good match and in the end Alexa Bliss won so this was my second match. Hope you like it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye bye.